the eye, one of our most precious sensory systems. Our optical system is very sensitive to high pressure in the eye. This is a normal picture of the fundus. And here we see the degeneration of nerve cells if pressure is too high and atrophy occurs. In the eye, high pressure can build up. This leads to all kinds of changes in what we see. High ocular pressure or high eye pressure leads to glaucoma. A normal eye has pressure between 10 to 21 mm mercury. If there is a stagnation of the fluid which is produced in the eye, then the pressure builds up. In order to lower the pressure, one can use drops or, in severe cases, operations are needed. This, however, never leads to a reduction of the damage. Early treatment is extremely important to reduce the damage as much as possible. It was the Nobel laureate Professor Rita Levi Mondolcini who discovered in the last century the amazing biological and neuroprotective properties of the natural molecule palmitoyl ethylonamide. Since her findings, palmitoyl ethylonamide has been explored widely also in ocular diseases, such as glaucoma. Various recent articles describe the ocular protective effects of palmitoyl ethylonamide. During certain operations, intraocular pressure rises. Palmitoyl ethylonamide can compensate these rises. Recently, it became clear how palmitoyl ethylonamide acts in a series of elegant experiments, American ophthalmologists discovered how PEA can reduce intraocular pressure. And these graphs demonstrate the anti-high pressure effects of palmitoyl ethylonamide in various experiments. Administrating the supplement palmitoyl ethylonamide, for instance, uh, in a daily dose of 1200 mg palm to ethylonamide a day, we can act early and save nerve cells from degeneration and lower intraocular pressure.